Hello, Holly Nestor here with DigiscrapQuickPages.com. Today we're using Photoshop Element 6 for a tutorial on Quick Pages. In this case, it was designed by Shabby Miss Jen Designs. Here's a look at that template. It is all of these fabulous colors from the 1970s, which goes just great with my photos taken while we lived in the Middle East and we were visiting Israel. This down here is the bin, and you can see by just double clicking on each of those thumbnails we are navigating between open documents and the other part of the screen that you want to um, be familiar with is the layers palette. It's a good practice whenever you open any new document to go ahead and when you're using these templates to go ahead and save it as a good as a new file name and um, and then start working on it. Now here is our layers palette and layers are confusing sometimes for beginners, but if you could just think about layers as uh, pieces of paper that are stacked on top of each other. The bottom layer here is my sunset piece of paper, and the top layer here is my logo. And I'm clicking on this eyeball to make the layer disappear. And if you wanted to make it go away because you decided you didn't want it there, all you would have to do is click on that layer and drag it to the trash and it goes away. I'm going to say edit, undo, delete layer. And we'll go ahead and go to um, Shabby Miss Jen's template here and zoom in on the um, photo area so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to just click on the first photograph and drag it over here to the template and it dragged it on top of the layer. Well, we want it below the layer so that it'll show through the hole. So all you have to do is click on it and drag it below the template and it moved. We also, when we drop the new photos in here, we want to right click and say simplify layer. And what that does is it makes it be editable in this document. If we want to scale, all we have to do is look for these little um, bounding boxes on the corners of our photo and hold the shift key and drag so that it will constrain that photo proportionally and you won't accidentally squash any photo, any faces or anything. When you're done, you click the check marks, which is down here in the right hand corner. And if you don't like what you did, then you click the red circle with the line through it and that commits you to your change. So we're going to drag the next photo in. This is of my brother and sisters and I in Jerusalem at a little tiny replica village that they built to show what the town looked like at the time that Jesus was alive. So I'm just going to um, place it to where you can kind of see the buildings and simplify it so that we can edit it. And you can see it's covering up this photo here. And we're going to use the polygonal lasso tool to take care of that. What I like to do is I like to select the photo itself that I want to keep. And this polygonal lasso tool is great because you can use it for any shape. So if you um, needed to go around this ribbon, which we don't because it's hiding behind the layer, then you could. So once we have it selected, it turns into marching ants when we close it off. And we say inverse. And then when we inverse, as long as we're on the right layer, we can hit the delete key and it will delete everything that was not in our original selection on that layer, but the inverse of that. So to get off of that, just click on the rectangular selection um, tool and then click anywhere in the document and the marching ants go away. So we're going to put the last photo in, which is a picture of my brother and sisters and I on the Jordan River and we'll get a little bit more practice on um, that polygonal lasso tool because we're covering up again. So we right click, simplify layer. It looks like it's a good size. Get that tool and again begin your clicking. It's like a rubber band and it'll kind of uh, move around on the page um, if you drag it too fast. And then you can see a little circle that shows up whenever it's ready to be closed. Now we've got the picture selected, but we want to delete the part that's outside of our selection. So we go to Select, Inverse, and we're on the right layer. We can see that, so we hit Delete. There we go. We are done with our layout. That